of light. That's the fascinating phenomenon known as electromagnetically induced transparency, EIT. In simple terms, EIT is a quantum trick where a laser beam can make a material invisible to another specific light frequency. Normally, certain materials absorb light and appear opaque, but under the right conditions, a second laser can interfere with this absorption at the quantum level, causing destructive interference that blocks the material from absorbing the target light. The result? Light that should be stopped passes through as if the material were transparent. How does this quantum magic work? Inside atoms, electrons have specific energy levels they can jump between. E-itch uses two laser beams tuned to carefully interact with these levels. One laser prepares the atoms, and the second tries to pass through. Because of quantum interference, the atom can no longer absorb that second beam, allowing it to travel through freely. Analogy, it is like silencing noise with noise. Two waves cancel each other out, and suddenly there's calm. EIT is not just a cool lab trick. It has real potential for slow light experiments, quantum memory, and advanced optics, showing how quantum physics can bend the rules of everyday experience. How can a medium that normally absorbs light at a particular frequency be rendered transparent to that same light by the application of a second control laser? In electromagnetically induced transparency, EET, a coherent driving field creates quantum interference between excitation pathways in a multi-level atomic or molecular system, opening a narrow window of transparency within an otherwise opaque absorption line. So far, so good. Until we examine what makes this interference possible in the first place, the EIT phenomenon arises in a three-level L or ladder configuration where a weak probe laser addresses one transition and a strong control laser couples the excited state to a third level. Under the right detuning and intensity conditions, the two excitation amplitudes cancel each other out, producing a long-lived dark state in which atoms remain unexcited and no photons are absorbed. The result is a narrow spectral region through which the probe beam passes unimpeded even though the medium remains highly absorptive just outside this window. At its core, implementing EIT is an exercise in precise coherence control. The medium must be prepared so that dephasing processes, collisions, Doppler broadening, magnetic field inhomogeneities are slow compared to the induced quantum coherence, laser lengths, beam alignment, and atomic temperature must all be finely tuned to preserve phase relationships over microsecond to millisecond timescales. Any stray perturbation can break the delicate superposition, collapsing the dark state and restoring absorption. Yet, even the most carefully engineered EIT systems reveal hidden vulnerabilities under rigorous scrutiny. In warm atomic vapors, frequent atomic collisions, and velocity-changing interactions broaden the transparency window and reduce its depth. In solid-state implementations, rare earth, doped crystals, or semiconductor quantum wells, inhomogeneous broadening and phonon interactions shorten coherence times, demanding cryogenic temperatures or intricate dynamical decoupling schemes. The paradox is that the very interactions that make practical media macroscopic and robust also conspire to degrade the quantum interference on which transparency depends. At even finer scales, subtle nonlinearities and cross couplings emerge. The presence of the control field modifies the medium's refractive index so dramatically near the transparency point that group velocities can be reduced to mere meters per second or even brought to a halt. However, this slow light regime amplifies any residual absorption or defacing, causing pulse distortion and loss. Moreover, tiny variations in control laser intensity translate into shifts of the transparency frequency, making the phenomenon highly sensitive to technical noise. In essence, electromagnetically induced transparency embodies a striking illustration of how quantum coherence can override classical absorption, but only within an exquisitely narrow set of conditions. It challenges our intuition that an absorber must always block light at its resonance, revealing that carefully phased pathways can nullify absorption entirely. Yet this triumph of interference sits precariously on a knife edge of coherence and control. Much like the hysteresis paradox and deep-sea submersible failure, EIT reminds us that pushing physical systems to their quantum limits uncovers both remarkable capabilities and unanticipated fragilities. The window of transparency may be real, but maintaining it demands an orchestration of conditions so precise that the slightest deviation can close the window instantly. Underscoring the profound interplay between coherence, control, and the stubborn realities of the physical world.
electromagnetically induced transparency. EIT reveals that an otherwise opaque medium can become transparent to a probe beam when a control laser induces quantum interference among atomic transitions. By tuning the control field's frequency and intensity, the absorption profile is reshaped to create a narrow transparency window within an otherwise absorbing line. This defies classical expectations that a material's opacity is fixed by its composition and stationary energy levels. EAT thus demonstrates dynamic coherent control over optical properties. In rubidium vapor, a coupling laser tuned to one transition renders the medium transparent to a second probe laser at the same resonance. It is like opening a secret passage in a locked corridor, allowing a traveler to pass through where no door was thought to exist. Classical absorption theory predicts that atoms absorb resonant light according to fixed cross-sections determined by their transition strengths. Under these models, there is no mechanism for the medium to regain transparency at the resonant frequency where absorption peaks. EIT, however, uses a coherence between atomic states to cancel absorption at that exact frequency while leaving the medium opaque elsewhere. This contrast shows how quantum coherence can override traditional absorptive behavior. Without EIT, a probe beam at the D1 line of sodium vapor is almost entirely absorbed, but with a control laser present, it passes through. It is like playing a sound and then introducing an inverted waveform that cancels the noise at a specific pitch, creating silence only at that tone. At the microscopic level, EIT arises from the creation of a dark state, an atomically coherent superposition of two ground states that does not couple to the excited state. When the control laser pumps population into this dark state, probe photons cannot be absorbed because the system is trapped in a non-absorbing configuration. This quantum interference between multiple excitation pathways eliminates absorption at the probe frequency. As a result, the medium exhibits transparency despite containing resonant absorbers. In a three-level lambda system using the hyperfine ground states of rubidium, the dark state prevents excitation to the upper level. It is like two rival routes to the same destination that cancel each other out, leaving no one arriving at the usual stop. Quantum interference between excitation pathways is the core mechanism enabling EIT. In a three-level system, the control and probe lasers create two routes for population transfer that interfere destructively at the probe resonance. This cancellation prevents population of the excited state and thus suppresses absorption. Maintaining the precise phase relationship between the lasers is essential to preserve coherence and transparency. In helium gas, coherent coupling between two metastable states results in a narrow transparency window for a third transition. It is like two synchronized waves meeting in a pool so that their crests and troughs cancel, leaving a flat surface. Three-level atoms provide the simplest platform for EIT by coupling two ground states to a common excited state under two laser fields. The control laser dresses the atom, splitting the excited level into two dressed states and opening a transparency window at the probe frequency. This splitting also creates steep dispersion within the window, dramatically reducing group velocity of light. Thus, the three-level configuration not only enables transparency, but also slow light effects. In cold rubidium ensembles, EAT slows light to a few meters per second while rendering the medium transparent. It is like parting the waters in a narrow channel to let a small boat pass while the rest of the river remains closed. EIT exhibits strong optical nonlinearity even at low light intensities due to the steep dispersion and narrow bandwidth of the transparency window. Slight variations in the control laser's power or detuning can switch the medium between opaque and transparent states. These threshold-like behaviors enable low-power all-optical switching and modulation. The inherent nonlinearity of EIT is key for applications in quantum information processing. Changing the control beam intensity by just a few percent can toggle transparency on and off in a vapor cell. It is like a light dimmer that, with a tiny adjustment, flips the entire room's lighting from dark to bright. EIT has transformative implications for photonic technologies by enabling slow light optical storage and enhanced nonlinear interactions. By compressing light pulses and storing them in atomic coherences, one can create quantum memories for photons. The enhanced nonlinearity in the transparency window facilitates efficient photon photon interactions at the single photon level. Consequently, EIT is foundational for developing quantum repeaters, sensors, and on-chip photonic circuits. EIT-based quantum memories have stored and retrieved single photon wave packets with high fidelity in cold atomic ensembles. 
It is like putting a fleeting message into an email draft folder and retrieving it intact later without loss. Accurate modeling of EIT requires solving the optical block equations with decoherence, Doppler broadening, and inhomogeneous fields fully accounted for. Experimentally maintaining phase stability between the probe and control beams and minimizing environmental defacing are major hurdles. Achieving long, coherence times in solid-state systems such as color centers or quantum dots remains an active challenge. Overcoming these obstacles is critical for practical EIT-based devices. In rare earth-doped crystals, spin dephasing limits the achievable storage time for slow-light experiments. It is like trying to keep a whisper precise and clear in a noisy cocktail party without losing any words. Future research seeks to integrate EIT media with nanophotonic waveguides and cavity QED systems to create chip-scale quantum networks. Advances in hybrid platforms combining EIT with optomechanics or plasmonics promise new regimes of light control and sensing sensitivity. These developments may lead to robust quantum memories, ultra-sensitive magnetometers, and novel slow-light applications at room temperature. Ultimately, EIT exemplifies how precise control of light-matter coherence can redefine our command of photonics. Nanofiber-coupled cold atom systems are being explored to realize compact, efficient, EIT-based quantum interfaces. It is like weaving together threads of light and matter into a new tapestry of quantum technology 